So I've had quite a few people comment about the uh, the ticking noise that you get on these little 107s and the city bugs. And you can hear that when I'm accelerating. It's nothing at all to be worried about. What it is, is something called piston slap, um, which is basically the the ignition, the flame front, the explosion within the, the within the cylinder, as the piston compresses the, the, the gas in the air and explodes it with the spark, that explosion creates a noise. Because these engines are so economical, the engine is constantly variating valve timing and the ignition timing, getting it to its absolute peak. So it's trying to explode that flame at the last minute, which is quite close to top dead center, which creates that noise. Now, the noise will change as the engine warms up. Sometimes it gets worse, sometimes it gets less. The only reason that is, is because the engine is constantly variating the ignition timing and the valve timing to get it to be most efficient. So absolutely nothing to worry about. It's just a feature of the engine. So back in the garage. So if you're interested, I'll go into this in a little bit more detail because it is interesting, it's interesting stuff. This little engine, it does have its own little characteristics and this is one of them, this noise, this ticking noise. So like I was talking about when I was driving the car, the flame front, <laughs> the flame front across the piston, the pistons have got the little pockets in them because they're really trying to design it so that the center point of the piston is as low down and as close to the gudgeon pin as possible because this piston slap, like I was saying, the flame front, the way the burn happens, it doesn't put a direct force straight down on top of the piston. It can force it at a slight angle. It can make it go sideways. And that noise is the flame front pushing the piston and the skirt on the piston is hitting the side of the bore. And that's what's making that, that noise, that little metally kind of dinking noise. There is a, a coating of oil there because obviously you've got the oil from the control rings on the pistons so there's lubricant there it's not going to wear anything it's not that bad it's 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 very subtle but it's it is enough to so you can actually hear you can hear that noise you've got two things going on you've got the valve timing which is adjusted so you've got a thing called valve overlap they're trying to get the emissions and the power it's like um, they're altering the cam timing um, to to make the valves overlap to get as much fuel in and out of the bore as possible. Um, this is all affecting the noise of the engine. It all makes a difference. Also, you've got a thing called pinking. Now, pinking is pre-ignition. So when the piston comes up, as it's rising in the bore, the spark doesn't happen once the piston's gone over the top and on its way down. It, it sparks before the piston comes up. The spark happens. The piston continues to rise and then it drops. So it's usually around about, well, it can vary, it varies, but sort of say anything from 20 uh, degrees before top dead center. Um, it, it can spark, which by the time the flame has happened, the piston is then on its way back down again and the and the flame pushes the piston back down. If it pre-ignites too soon, then the piston is coming up and the and the flame happens, the explosion happens before it's reached the top. It's almost trying to push the piston back down on itself before it's come over on the crank to go back down. And that's that pink and that can make a real rappy noise. Now on these little engines, you've got a thing called a knock sensor which is on the back of the block and it's that's picking up pinking that's listening it's listening to the engine and it's trying to figure out exactly what's the the best time it can get that spark in before it pinks and that's what it's doing it's constantly monitoring it so it's always working out exactly how close it can get it and i think on these engines it does get it a mighty close mighty close to a pink and again what with that the flame front, the piston skirt, the shape of the pistons and everything. That's where that characteristic noise comes from. 
If you've probably noticed on this 1K RFE engine, the little Toyota engine, when it's cold, the noise is, is louder. And that can also not only be because the timing and the ignition and the valve timing is different, it's also because the piston itself is cold. So it's slightly smaller. We're talking microns here, you know, tiny, tiny amounts. But it is slightly smaller, so it's got a bit more movement within the cylinder. Once the engine's warmed up, that piston will slightly expand, which just makes it slightly tighter in the bore and stops it moving about and making the noise as much. A few years ago, I was working in a Honda dealership and the Accords were really suffering with piston slap. They've got this noise, although there was no detriment to the engine and it wasn't causing any damage, uh, we did have a few you know, pinnickety customers uh, were moaning about the noise and they didn't like it. And Honda actually came up with a redesigned piston with a different um, shaped crown. It got a slightly different shape to it, slightly modified to alter the position of the flame uh, to try and eradicate this noise. Mainly it was only from cold, um, but it, it did make a difference to them. So <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that's been a, uh, well, it's a, it's a it's a strange one. Their engines are all unique and they all sound different. I used to, not so much nowadays, I don't think. I think a lot of engines sound very similar, but you can usually pick out a car driving up the road. You can you can hear what it is before you've actually seen it. You know, you can tell by the sound of it. Engines are, have got their own little tones to them. And that's what this one, you can pick one of these little Toyota Citroen C1, the Aego, you can pick them out. Oh no, I forgot one, Peugeot 107. You can pick these engines out, coming up the road, I can I can hear it before I've seen it. I go, oh, there it is. <laughs> like I say, if this has been of use to you, drop me a little thumbs up, stick me some comments in. If you're disagreeing, if you've got any other uh, information you'd like to share with us over this subject, it's an interesting one. Just chuck me some comments and then we'll have a little chat about it at a later date. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.